Thanks for checking out my blogger tutorial for beginners. I'm not big on introductions, so let's get right on into it. So when you're on the blogger.com homepage, if you've already created a blogger account, what you need to do is simply go to sign in and you can do that. If not, simply click on create your blog button right here. So you just need to simply sign in with your Gmail account and then it's going to simply ask you what you want your website to be called. You can always change that later. Those are the two things that you need to do. I have already done that, so I'm obviously leave that to you. But once you've done that, let's head on over into the blogger section and I'll walk you through each of the main sections to go over and then you can start creating your website. All right, and we have made it to the main blog section. This is gonna be where your title is right here, Marketing Island. If you ever wanted to create a new blog, you can certainly do that. New post is gonna be probably one of the most uh, used sections here where you can create your new post to add to your blog, of course. We're gonna have stats, which if you just opened it, you're not gonna be showing too much here. I do have some all time. I thought I created this earlier, but it must've been around just with my Gmail account. There's gonna be a section with comments once you start getting the ball rolling there where you can manage those if needed. Earnings is gonna be for AdSense. That's gonna be a much later thing. You don't need that when you're just getting up and running. However, if you do have any questions about that, I can probably do a tutorial to help you out in terms of what you need to do there. Here we have pages. Once again, this is gonna be our pages section. We can create pages here too if needed. Layout is gonna be very important. So this is gonna be depending on what you use here. So if you wanna change this, like pages can be at the top. So if you click right here, you're gonna see that this is gonna be the title. This is gonna be the home page, and you can simply move it up and down. If you wanna add a new item, you can do that in terms of the page. I like keeping it as it is right here, where you're gonna have featured posts, you're gonna have blog posts, you're gonna have some sections on the right, and I think it's gonna be much better once you actually put together your blog and then change that around just so you can see what everything looks like, okay? Then we have our theme. And this is gonna be the one I am using right here. If there's any that you wanna use, you can simply click on and go from there like a day in the life right here. If you wanna use this, you can do preview, you can do customize, and then you can simply do apply. So that's all I did for this one right here. If you do wanna customize it, there's gonna be some other aspects that you can do like backing it up, restoring it, and of course, customizing right here. So as you can see, nothing here since there's no post. We have a background image. This can be where you do it. This is gonna be the main color theme if you wanna do that. We have some advanced aspects right here with the body background. A lot of this is gonna be the aesthetics. For example, we have our font and like how big it's going to be, some colors and so on and so forth. So if you did wanna do that, this is gonna be where you can change it. We have an about me section right here. So display information about yourself to visitors. You can turn that off if needed. So that's gonna be where you can really change around like the colors, the fonts and the background info, excuse me, the background image. So just showcasing where you can do that. Let's go back. Then we have settings, of course. All right, so there's a lot of things here. I just wanna quickly go through it. If you ever wanted to change your title, here we are. So I have Marketing Island right here. You can change it and save it. Description in case you wanted to add that. Uh, favicon is gonna be this teensy, teensy little icon right here. If you have a very small image, you can do that. You do wanna make it visible to search engines. Don't expect to get a ton of traffic that way, but it's better to have it that way. Your blog address, if you did wanna use a custom domain, I would recommend ensure that visits to HTTP redirect to HTTPS. This is just gonna be a little bit more of a secure way of doing that. Permissions, in case you wanna change that around. What's the max amount of posts you wanna show on the main page? I think seven's gonna be fine. Uh, lazy load images, I would definitely recommend. What that means is that when someone arrives on your blog post, all the images aren't gonna load right away, but they will load as you scroll down. So what that means is that the page is gonna load much quicker for them instead of waiting for everything that they're not even gonna be seeing right away. So I would recommend keeping that one on. Comment location embedded, who can comment, users with Google accounts, moderation if you wanna change that around. Uh, this is going to be email stuff if you want notification for subscribers. This is all just going to be tailored to you if you want to use that. You can change your time zone here in the date header format, the timestamp format. So a lot of these things are going to be just like little details in case you want to change them around. But I think a lot of things how they are are going to be good aside from the ones I told you about like changing uh, lazy load. And there was gonna be another one with the HTTPS. And of course, it's simply changing around your title. With that in mind, let's just do view blog very quickly. Like I said, it's gonna be very bland. There's nothing to it, but I'll show you. Aha, there's nothing here exactly how we planned it. So let's go back over here. Now what we can do is new post. All right, so I wrote out a post very quickly. This is gonna be the title right here. How to create daily YouTube videos with ease. What I also wanna do is add it in. So give me one moment. I'm gonna get it in my notepad. 
All right, so I'm gonna paste this in here. So it is gonna be a little bit, uh, let's see, like we can move it around a little, so like that. If we wanted to add some spacing to it, I guess I'll just keep it like that. I don't wanna go through and just really change everything around just to kind of showcase how that's going to be. But there are some things I do wanna show like in terms of how to add headers and so on and so forth. So let's just say that this is gonna be a header right here. What we can do is go like this, and if we go right here where it says paragraph, what we can do is just do like a heading, okay? So it's gonna stick out much easier. So once again, I'm just gonna kind of move these up very quickly. And this talks about instead go with a repeatable format. Here are a few low lift options. So right here we are giving off options. And what we can do is go right here and we wanna do bullet points. So if we look up right here, these are gonna be some bullet points that we can use. If I go like this, I'm hitting enter and delete. And I'm doing enter and I'm doing delete. I'm just kind of moving these all so it's much easier to read and it looks a whole lot better. So you'll notice like once we start moving things around, batch like a beast, once again, this is gonna be a headline. So we don't want major heading, we can just do a heading, right? And it's gonna be the same thing. So if we're doing yet again, where we have our bullet points, I would add a bullet point right here and we can move this up and enter. So it's gonna be in the bullet point section. And I'm not gonna to do too much more of that. I think you get the idea when it comes to like the headings and making it look better, right? So this would be a heading and so on and so forth. Now, all right, and aside from that, in case you are curious, there are gonna be a couple ways where you can add images and videos as well. So you can put an image here to simply upload from computer. There's photos, there's bloggers, there's by URL. And it's gonna be the same thing with YouTube. You can upload from computer or simply use one from uh, YouTube itself. So let me just get a random blank example one moment when it comes to getting an image. All right, so now I'm gonna to go to insert image, upload from computer and browse. All right, and that image is now going to be added in. So right here, what you can do is you can kind of move it around. If you wanna play around with it, you can make it large, you can make it larger, extra large, something like that, so it looks a little bit better. Uh, you can change around the settings as well. So the alternative text and the title text, we can just do like cut, you know, something like that, update. And uh, let's just keep that there. So you're gonna see this is gonna be the permalink of where it goes. You can do an automatic permalink or you can do a custom. So let's just do like daily videos, just so it's not as long, something like that. Okay, I think that looks fine. Okay, and I think everything else looks great. There's gonna be options, allow comments, that looks fine. We can preview this as well. All right, so how to create daily YouTube videos with ease. This is gonna be our picture and this is gonna go on. So it looks so much better. If I scroll down here, you're gonna see like there's a ton of space. We would just need to kind of like move that, but I've showed you how to move it a little bit closer, how to add the headlines. And when you have it, it just looks so much better and it's much easier on the eyes and to read. You know that this is a headline, so it's gonna separate into this specific section so that this all goes in here. And when you put bullet points like this, like I said, it just makes it so much easier to read. If you have something like this where it's just all long and drawn out, and if this was a whole row of words with very little sentences and paragraphs, it's just gonna read like a college essay. You're gonna get a lot of people bouncing away from the page. Okay, so let's go back. And let's say everything is good here. Actually, let me show you how to add a link very easily. A caffeine fueled nightmare. So let's go like this, and we can go here, and we can just do HTTPS. Disclaimer, don't send your traffic to AOL. They have plenty of it. I'm just using that as an example of where a link would go. I like doing it in a new window. I pretty much always recommend opening a link in a new window because what it allows you to do is have the person come back. So let's say they open this, it goes right here. Now they can always come back and read more. But if it loads in the same page, they may never hit the back button and you've lost your reader. So that is something I like doing. So let's say we want to publish this. This will publish the post to your blog, let's confirm. All right, and there's gonna be that. All right, and so since we've created our blog post, let's do view blog. And there's gonna be that, it's gonna be highlighted at the top just because we only have one, but if you click on it, you're gonna see that we have this specific blog post, it's called daily videos, at least the URL, but it's called this right here, but we made the URL all of our things slash you know, daily videos. This is gonna be the picture. This is gonna be the AOL link. And we pretty much just edited everything here and like a little bit on just to kind of show you how it works. But it would be done and edited the same way down here. I just don't wanna sit here and like showcase doing that again. So let me just show you what it looks like when you add one more. So let's go back here. Let's do new post. Let's do test. 
And for this, let's say we're gonna add another image. So give me one moment. And apparently I just uploaded the same image twice, I believe. So let me uh, upload the other one. So let's go here, upload and browse. And there it is. So not like it matters anyway, but that's the different one. And I'm just gonna do publish once again and confirm. All right, great. So now we have two of them where if we click on view blog, you're gonna see how this is gonna be the main one here. And from then on out, it's gonna showcase this blog post and then it's gonna move down one more and down one more. And remember we talked about in the settings, I believe it was there's gonna be seven blog posts total. You can always change that around. You don't have to have seven, you can have two, you could have three or four, but that in a nutshell is how you can go about creating your blogger when it comes to uploading your images, creating your blog posts, adding videos or embedding them. And of course we talked about a lot of the settings that you can kind of change around. There are a lot of settings that you can change, but in my opinion, there aren't too many that you're gonna want to. So I feel that if you go over this blogger tutorial again, you're gonna get all the fundamentals and the basics covered where you can go in, create your blogger blog, and of course change around the layout, maybe the color, the font, the font size, and you, my friend, are gonna be good to go. So I really hope that this blogger tutorial for beginners helped you out and if it did be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a ton and if you made it all the way to the end a virtual high five for you i will leave a link in the description that can help with building and growing your digital business if that's what you're into of course my name is james thank you so much for watching and enjoy